Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Explorations of Me, April 2019. How's it going so far? I hope it's going good. <laughs> So this month, if I look at my notes, yes, I have notes because I can't remember otherwise. We are discussing, do you have a daily routine and does it help you? So for me, this month is going to be more about talking to you than it's going to be creating any art. For me, you bet your darn tootie I've got a routine. And when I am unable to stick with said routine, I'm not a happy camper. So... I'm gonna take you through a few steps of my morning routine, although it's like after lunch already, so you know, we'll make it work. And we'll be right back. I start my morning routine here, in the kitchen. Over, where is it? Above my head, right there. Making a cup of coffee. First number one thing I do, walk to the coffee pot. <laughs> Because, you know, there's like no functioning and being anything anybody wants to talk to without coffee. Then I bring it to my spot. I got a spot. You want to see? Okay, hang on. I got this spot on the sofa. Can you see my drawing bag? Yeah, I know. Right. Wait. See my little table? It's got my iPad on it. I sit there. I'll do some drawing. I'll look at YouTube videos. I'll just chill on the sofa while I'm sipping on my morning coffee. Two cups, always two cups. When I'm done with that, I don't get dressed. Hang on. After I'm done with my morning coffee, we go on a little walk upstairs because, you know, I got a routine. I got to stick to my routine or I'm just not a happy camper. I already said that already. So we go upstairs to my art room because, yeah. And we go plop ourselves down at the computer. loading a vlog right now but I sit myself down at my computer desk and I do my daily postings. So most days more often than not I post some thoughts and creative wanderings in my Facebook group A Life of Art and Self-Expression. The creative wa wanderings get copied and pasted into a couple of other groups too but every day I do some thoughts. It's a good thing. <sighs> I don't know what to, how to start my day without doing the thoughts. While I'm up here, I'm also checking on YouTube comments and replying because I like to keep on top of that. I also usually double check the Etsy shop, email. If I need to do a website update, I do. Uh, I'm trying to be better about doing that. <laughs> um, I'll usually light some incense, pull a positive affirmation card both up here and downstairs. In fact, I don't think I've pulled today's positive affirmation card yet this, yet today, and it's already after lunch, so let's do that, shall we? Here's, I have a bowl of positive affirmation cards. The one that was here said bright. I already pulled the ones for downstairs this morning with my coffee, but I didn't do this one forward. That's a good word. Just a little hint and reminder of positive things to do for the day, a positive thought to have in your mind, positive energy to put out. Forward, forward's a good way, good thing. Forward instead of backward. Then I try to do some art, maybe chit chat with friends if I don't have lots of art obligations to catch up on. Do a little cleaning and reorganizing. Sometimes I'll throw chores in if I absolutely have to, because you know, I'd rather do art than chores. I try to take a little walk around the neighborhood, go feed Bambi. It's not that far around the neighborhood, it's just next door, but we use our old dog's food bowl to feed the deer, deer corn. Our dog passed away before Christmas and we do miss him, but we're um, trying to make good use of some of the things he left behind. And so I'm gonna go with you because, um, I'm gonna go with you, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to take you with me because although, again, it's after lunch and I'm a little bit lagging behind today, um, I need to go check the food bowl. I will say it usually is part of my morning routine to take a shower and get dressed before I go out the front yard to go check Bambi's food bowl because nobody needs to see that shit in the morning. So hang on. Let's go check the food bowl. 
also try hard as I'm doing my morning routine and going through all the different things I like to do business-wise, art-wise, house-wise, to not lock myself out of the house. Because that's been a thing. Yeah, I've done that already a couple of times. Yikes. So we're going to grab a cup of deer corn out of the bin. Uh, oh. So, cup of deer corn. My side gate. There's the food bowl. And it's empty. It was full this morning. So, I just dump it in. I see birds. Do you see him over there? Yeah. So this is what I live next door to. And Bambi lives down there somewhere. If I have Etsy orders, I make that part of my routine of filling the Etsy orders, taking them to the mailbox down the street, or if they're too bulky, taking them down to um, the mailbox around the corner. And Making sure I get my quiet time in, which is, um, is super important. Sometimes for me, when I'm having my coffee, instead of putting the iPad on, I will just sit with a book. I, re I really need that quiet time a little bit every day. That's like important for me. Um, and one of the reasons I do art and mixed media is because I can sort of block out and zone everybody out, put some earbuds in if I need to, and music on, and just do art. So that's my morning routine. I don't know how interesting you're gonna find that, but I do find I need a routine. And sometimes when my routine changes and or I need to incorporate new things, I need to make myself a list. So I'll make a list and I'll check it off and I'll just stick with a list for a while until it becomes part of my new routine. What do you do? Do you have one? If you don't and you're struggling, maybe you should try to have one. So, and if you have one, does it help? We would like to know. So leave up something in the comments below. If you wanna check out and see what everybody else did this month or what they're talking about and doing with their routine, I'm gonna put their links in the description below. Don't forget to show them some love and share over in the Facebook groups, especially um, Artsy Endeavors and if you're in the Chronic Pain group. And uh, if you wanna follow me on social media or um, support the free content here on YouTube or over in Facebook, click on my link tree. When you do, you're gonna get a whole bunch of different links and places to find me. And if you follow me on social media, on uh, Instagram and Twitter, for instance, you're gonna see what I do every day. I post my little art drawings and stuff that I do every day. Um, and you can find my Amazon affiliate store, my Etsy shop, my tip jar, Patreon, like all that stuff. So go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and theirs. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like get a routine and see if it helps. Bye guys.